An object anchor is used to signify the point at which an object is inserted into a document. If you understand how to work with object anchors, it can make positioning your images and other objects quite a bit easier. Word provides two different ways that you can insert a picture or other object into your document. For instance, on the screen I have a picture that's surrounded by a bunch of text. The picture isn't terribly large, as you can see. If I right-click on this picture, you can see that there's a context menu that appears. Using the options on this context menu, I can choose how text wraps around this image. In fact, that's right down here near the bottom where it says wrap text. But I can also do that by clicking on the size and position option right down here, which is what I'm going to do because it allows us to examine even more on the text wrapping tab of this dialog box, how text can be wrapped around an image. At the top of the dialog box here, there are seven different ways that you can wrap text in relation to this particular object or this image. One of those is in line with text, which means that the image is treated just like a text character in the document. What I want to do though is choose one of these actual wrapping options here, which causes the text to be wrapped around the image itself. I'm going to choose this square and then I'm going to click on OK and as you can see, we have our image and it's selected and the text wraps around that image. Now, there's something else going on here, though, and that brings us to the concept of an object anchor. When you have a floating object, meaning one where text can go around the object, such as with this image, then Word needs to know where to anchor that object. Normally, the anchors aren't visible. But you can see on the screen here that there is an anchor icon just to the left of this image. I have the image selected and the anchor icon appears just near the upper left corner of this uh, particular image. If you select an object in your document like this and you don't see that anchor image up there, then all you have to do is on the home tab of the ribbon, choose the show hide option right up here. That shows all of the non-printing characters or the non-visible characters within your document, including object anchors. Like I said, that object anchor appears when that image is selected. Even though that anchor appears right next to that image, it's not really keyed to that image. What it's doing is, is it's telling you the paragraph to which that image is anchored. In fact, you can see this. If I take this and move that image over just a little bit, note that that anchor still appears to the left of the paragraph because that's the paragraph that it's anchored to. Now, if I wanted to, I can change the paragraph to which this image is anchored by simply clicking on that object anchor and dragging it to a different paragraph. See, I just drug it right down to this one. And when I released, then I can see that this image is anchored to this paragraph. The anchor means that the object or image moves with the paragraph to which it's anchored. Thus, if you add more text to the document and the paragraph with the anchor moves to the next page, then the object or the image moves to be on the same page as the anchor. If you don't understand how anchors work, then it can be frustrating to think that your graphics are moving around when you don't want them to. All that they're doing, though, is trying to stay with that anchor. The bottom line is that if you are using floating images or objects and you want to better understand how Word is positioning them, you can go a long way to removing your confusion and frustration by displaying the object anchors and working with them as you try to get just the document layout that you want. I hope that you found this quick tip helpful. If you did, please click the subscribe button and then click the bell icon. That way you'll be informed whenever I add a new video to the Word Tips channel. Thanks for spending a few minutes with me today.